jazz music. It's an inherently black genre with roots in the black south of America. Vancouver's always been a stop on the jazz circuit throughout the decades, but black players say city policies of the past kept the black community and its musicians from growing. There are still black jazz musicians in this city, like Faven Kadane, who's from the new school. Oh man, I feel like I'm the furthering of a dream of those ancestors because this music is still alive in black people everywhere. And I think that being part of that as a mosaic is just such a blessing. I feel like it's a spiritual path, it's very spiritual music. Um, a lot of the black community does not play this music here in Vancouver. A lot of them are more into R&B, um, into some soul. There's only a handful of us and it's, it's sad to me. Kadani thinks that's partly to do with what the city of Vancouver did to the black community in Hogan's Alley decades ago to make room for the Georgia Viaduct. They tore down Hogan's Alley in like, I think 1970. That whole entire strip of like the downtown east side, like Jimi Hendrix's grandmother had a, had a chicken place there. Family was always here. Jelly Roll Morton, Louis Armstrong, they would always pass through. They'd be hanging out in that area because that's where all the black people were. Whenever black stars came through, particularly jazz stars, they all ended up in the Hogan's Alley area because, you know, racism being what it is, uh, they were welcome there. Musician Wayne Stewart says jazz players didn't come to Vancouver to make their careers, but it's not unheard of. 102-year-old Eleanor Collins is a jazz singer who's been described as Vancouver's first lady of jazz. She's now on a postage stamp and living in Victoria. These days, Stewart says the black players in the music scene that play genres like soul and R&B are still playing what he calls the music of the African diaspora, and jazz music is at the root of that movement. I always think of those, of those genres as fruits of the same tree or branches of that tree, right? I can think of lots of black players in Vancouver, but not all of them or even most of them play exclusively jazz. While black musicians with a specialty in jazz may not be plentiful in Vancouver, Kadani wants people to know how her beloved genre is tied to black identity. This music goes so much far beyond Black History Month. This is the black legacy of the world. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.